Audiobook Academy Biography Presents. Ray Kroc. In order to make McDonald's the most profitable restaurant franchise in the world, Ray Kroc, an American businessman, grew it from a small local company. Ray Kroc began his career as a paper cup and milkshake machine salesman in the early 1970s. Dick and Mac McDonald, who operated a renowned California burger joint, invited him to join them in launching the McDonald's franchise in 1955. Before he passed away in 1984 at the age of 81, Kroc had turned McDonald's into the world's largest restaurant chain after purchasing the company outright in 1961. Early Years and Professional Career On October 5, 1902, Raymond Albert Kroc was born in Oak Park, Illinois, the son of Czech immigrants. While growing up, he learned how to play the piano and honed his entrepreneurial skills by running a lemonade stand and working at a soda fountain. As a Red Cross ambulance driver during World War I, Kroc lied about his age in order to begin serving at the age of 15. While in training, Kroc had the pleasure of meeting Walt Disney, with whom he would go on to have a long-lasting professional connection. Ernest Hemingway, a fellow Oak Park resident, served as an ambulance driver during World War II. A pianist, musical director, and real estate salesman were some of the jobs Kroc held after the war. A sales position with the Lily Tulip Cup Company provided him with some security, and he eventually rose to the position of Midwest sales manager. During his business activities, Kroc was introduced to Earl Prince, an ice cream store owner who had created a machine that could produce five milkshake batches at once. After leaving Lily Tulip in the 1940s, Kroc focused on marketing these multi-mixers to soda fountains around the country. Empire of the McDonald's Restaurants In 1954, Kroc visited a restaurant in San Bernardino, California, owned by Dick and Mac McDonald Brothers, where it was claimed that five of Kroc's multi-mixers were needed. With its modest menu of burgers, french fries, and milkshakes, the fast food joint was able to quickly serve its customers. A franchising agent, Kroc promised to work for a part of the earnings if a chain of restaurants was formed. First McDonald's opened in Des Plaines in Illinois in 1955, and in the following year, he created the McDonald's System Incorporated, later McDonald's Corporation. Despite the fact that McDonald's had launched its 100th location in 1959, Kroc was still struggling to make a profit. McDonald's Corporation's founding president, Harry J. Sonneborn, advised Kroc to build up a system in which the business owned and leased land to new franchises. As a result of Sonneborn's efforts, Kroc was able to buy the McDonald Brothers business outright in 1961, for a total of $2.7 million. Some of McDonald's original identity was preserved while new components were introduced under Kroc's leadership of the company. With an eye toward streamlining operations across all of his restaurants, Kroc continued to use McDonald Brothers' 1940s assembly line method of preparing hamburgers. Franchise owners in Elk Grove, Illinois, who were selected for their desire and determination, attended Hamburger University, a training program. A certificate in hamburgerology with a minor in French fries was awarded to the students. With familiar foods and inexpensive pricing, Kroc targeted the suburbs as a way to expand his business. In spite of complaints about the nutritional value of McDonald's meals as well as about the company's treatment of its adolescent employees, the model developed by Kroc proved to be immensely profitable. McDonald's cuisine was uniform in appearance and taste thanks to Kroc's stringent restrictions on preparation, portion sizes, cooking methods, and packaging. The success of McDonald's on a global scale can be attributed to these developments. Following his retirement in 1977, Kroc stepped down from his post as CEO and became senior chairman. McDonald's had 7,500 locations in nearly 30 countries and $8 billion market value when he died of heart failure on January 14, 1984, at Scripps Memorial Hospital in San Diego, California. Family and Other Pursuits Ethel Fleming served as Kroc's first wife from 1922 to 1961. From 1963 to 1968, he was married to Jane Dobbins Green. From 1969 until his death, he was married to Joan Mansfield Smith. The San Diego Padres, a Major League Baseball franchise, were purchased by Kroc in 1974, along with McDonald's. Following this, he wrote his autobiography entitled Grinding It Out, The Making of McDonald's, which was released in 2003 to critical acclaim. Almost three decades after his death, Michael Keaton's portrayal of Kroc and the founder made it to the big screen, starring Michael Keaton. Thank you for listening in Audiobook Academy. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button for more content like this. See you in next video.